Nine people have been convicted in the drug ring called Operation Ghost. The drugs mostly moved in the greater New Bedford area. Investigators found these drugs hidden in stash houses. The night team's Molly Levine went to those neighborhoods and she joins us live in studio. Molly? Patrice and Dan, these convictions come after a years long investigation into the drug ring. Authorities say it began in 2018 and residents say it's been quieter ever since. The neighborhoods are not as bad as they used to be. Getting heroin and fentanyl off the streets of New Bedford. I mean, at one point, there used to be all kind of people outside of this place. Operation Ghost, a long-term undercover investigation dismantling a large-scale fentanyl distribution ring that was selling heroin and fentanyl in the greater New Bedford area, making streets safer for residents and children. They are cracking down big time. They have a lot more police in the neighborhood. You see them going by constantly. New Bedford residents say it's been much quieter in their neighborhood since the arrests in 2019. It hasn't been like that in years now. The investigation revealed that fentanyl was being supplied to the organization from a supplier in Providence. Law enforcement intercepted phone conversations and text messages of the ringleader, Orlando Badillo, to help with the investigation. Badillo is serving an 8 to 10 year state prison sentence. Pictured are the others involved according to the district attorney's office. Five of the nine people convicted are female. I guess women are getting braver. <laughs> Police say a 10th person involved in the ring died during the pendency of her case. New Bedford residents thankful to see authorities making their neighborhoods safer. Altogether, it feels almost safer. Yeah, it does. Because you don't have to worry about, you know, who's shooting, you know, each other up over here. Because it happens. I mean... It's happened in front of our house. It's happened all over, and especially this neighborhood. It's finally started quieting down. District Attorney Thomas Quinn says without the use of court-approved wiretaps, the drug dealers most likely would have gotten away. I'm live in studio, Molly Levine, NBC 10 News 19. Molly, thank you for